Good news. After five years of campaigning to keep the Royal Marines in Plymouth, the government has today announced they're pushing back the closure date on Stonehouse Barracks to 2029. They're also delaying the closure of the Royal Citadel, a home to 29 Commando Royal Artillery, to 2035. This means we've kept the Royal Marines and 29 in our city, and now we need to make sure that those facilities are modernised. I've been campaigning to modernise facilities to give our troops very good, decent accommodation in our city since I was first elected in 2017. The campaign has been long and I want to thank everyone who has joined in with that campaign. Here's some examples of what I've been doing over the past five years to press this point home with ministers to keep the Royal Marines in Stonehouse and to keep 2-9 in the Royal Citadel. Thank you Mr Speaker. Uh, since my agenda debate on the Royal Marines basing arrangements last week I received lots of feedback from those from people who have served in the Royal Marines and it's clear that the association between the Royal Marines and Stonehouse is a bond worth <laughs> preserving. Will the Minister consider extending the closure date of Stonehouse Barracks in Plymouth from 2023 to 2025 or later to allow enough time to build the state-of-the-art Royal Marines superbase in the city that our Royal Marines rightly deserve? Speaker, one way to retain more Royal Marines is to ensure the accommodation therein is of high quality. As Plymouth is no longer getting the super base we were promised, could the Minister set out how the facilities at Stonehouse Barracks will be increased, including making sure that all the accommodation blocks have hot water and good heating?